Just a few words for you, all you fans out there. I'm sorry, I'm so stupid. You're smart. I know nothing about computers, all this modern technology you got today. I made a long video for you, and I don't get to show it to you. Because I, I think I kind of raised something I wasn't supposed to. Maybe it's not my fault. I don't know what I'm doing. But next time, I'll get more help. So you can enjoy a whole video, not the part of the end of the last one. I've made a really good video for you, and it breaks my heart for sadness that you didn't get to see it. Anyway, live and learn. Sorry, people. Maybe next time I can make a good video for you, something that you can see the whole thing. I just need somebody to teach me. I'm not really smart in those things. I'm a machinist. God gave me the gift to sing. That's all I know. Sorry. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope next time I can make a whole video and make everybody happy. And I have lots of things to tell you. But the video I was going to show you today is not for your children. Please, get, tell them to watch some cartoons on TV. The next time I give another video, it'll be for adults only, please. I don't want to steer children the wrong way. to have things I will say that they could possibly understand. But you as an adult should learn about what I have to tell you. It was gonna shock you, but I hope you can hold your breath long enough for poor Johnny D to learn how to use his, his camcorder to learn how to use the computer to bring you some delightful videos. I'm sure you will be very happy to make your life complete. And I have a message behind those videos and I'll tell you about it in those videos. The message I'm trying to deliver to you in the world. But maybe as long as my camera is still working, I can see the record button is still on the damn thing. I paid $500, $600 for that damn thing. Um, I was going to tell you about Stephen Greer. You might have seen him in my commercials on the internet. He's a, he was a doctor, emergency room doctor, over in uh, North Carolina. And he got tired of making all that money and saving a few people's lives in emergency rooms out there in the North Dakota, a state a few hundred miles north of me. Um, he, uh, and got interested in other things, so help the whole world. He wants to give you and make this world a paradise just like we are. God gave us on earth before Eve ruined it and ate that apple off the tree. Yes. Please tell your children to go watch cartoons and stuff. Don't listen to me. This is not for them. They have a lot to learn in school. This is way beyond their education. Listen, watch Dr. Greer. Sure, you say, oh, why should we believe a guy who believes in aliens? The guy's a quack. No, he's not, he's not a quack. Many of the people who have seen any aliens, they see spots in the sky, but there's some really good stories about people seeing right down here on Earth, right in front of their eyes, in the daytime. They're for real. I never seen one, but I believe them. I don't think the whole world is going crazy. There are aliens here. And believe it or not, I don't care what your government tries to tell you, they make those movies in Hollywood, about, we've got to shoot them now because they're going to kill us. They want to take our planet away. That's a bunch of nonsense. If they wanted us to kill us, they could have been a long time ago. They have technology millions of years ahead of us. They have technology to make this planet a garden of Eden. I'm serious. But they're not going to do it. Do you know why? Because you can't get along with your neighbors. You can't get along with Russia. You can't get along with those Iranians. There are people in Iraq, Syria, China, North Korea. 
We need to get along with our neighbors and show these aliens we are peaceful people that want their new technology to help us. Watch Dr. Stephen Greer. He could probably put two cents of knowledge into your brain, I would be happy. And watch uh, Dr. Gundry. Dr. Gundry is a good man. He uh, used to be uh, 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 perform bypasses for people like me. I had bypass when I was uh, back in 2004, quadruple. I had two heart attacks. I didn't even know I had a heart attack not until I got to the hospital. <clears throat> I couldn't breathe. It wasn't a pneumonia. I was having another heart attack. Might be the last one. They say it cost my insurance company thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. My, my life today, what can I say? I'm happy. Anyway, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. Gundry, I hate that name of his, Gundry. That's a fucking hard name to remember. Uh, what? But anyway, that's what he chose to be called himself. But anyway, he's tired of making all his millions of dollars. He doesn't want your money. He's tired of bragging to his neighbors how much more money he makes than they do. How much a better house that he has to live in than his maids and his butlers. And his, his brand new sports car thing can beat your, your car in a quarter mile that he paid $500,000 for. He's not worried about that, people. He wants to help you and me. Lose that stinking fucking gut. Our belly's so big, we can't even see our little thing down there when we go take a leak. <laughs> he wants to help you lose your gut. You see, there's this thing called good germs and bad germs in your gut. They're in everybody's gut. Takes technology, the way we process food, you can't get rid of those bad germs. They're going to be with you the rest of your life. But you can help your, your good germs in your gut. And you can keep the bad germs down a little bit. Give them something to fight. Something that will kill them. Kill them off. You're not going to get rid of them all. But you can keep them down. All you have to do is follow Dr. Gundry's advice. See if you got 20 minutes on your hand, watch one of his videos. I'm not pushing it. I don't get a red set from pushing his products on their, my channel. I just want you to be happy. I want you to enjoy my singing and for you to be happy. I want you to get along with everybody in this whole world and be peaceful so that aliens will come here and help us. We're not going to help us unless we prove to them we can be peaceful people. Try to understand just a little bit of what Dr. Greer is trying to tell you. And try to understand Dr. Gundry is not after your almighty dollar. He wants to help people. He wants to people have flat tummies again. How many people are obese today? How many more people have to turn diabetic before the government does something? It's terrible. I'm diabetic. That's serious people. Watch Dr. Gundry just for 20 minutes. Watch his commercials. You don't have to buy his product. You don't have to believe a gosh damn word I'm saying. But I believe he's trying to help you. He's like Dr. Uh, Tesla, the smartest human being God has ever gave us on this planet. And who do we treat him as? What's the history book show about Mr. Tesla? Nikola Tesla, the smartest man that God so much loves us on this planet Earth. He gave us the smartest man that ever lived on the planet Earth. He's the one that's responsible for all the electricity you got today. Where would you be without electricity? It's not that, it's not the person he's showing with. Of course, you did give him a job. Um, Edison, Thomas Edison. He invented a light bulb, I'll give him credit for that. He wanted to give you DC electricity. If you had DC electricity today, people, it was so big time, you would not be able to afford it. Get, uh, Tesla's AC electricity enables us to put electricity around our whole country so everybody in the United States can afford electricity. And Tesla wanted to do one step better. Yes. 
He wasn't interested in making money. He wasn't interested in bragging about how much money he makes and how much better he was than you. He wanted to help the whole world and give him free electricity. And the bankers, Morgan, you see his face on silver dollar coin. He knows it's hard to be on that coin. So talking about presidents, of course, they deserve to have their face on the dollar bill. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson. They were good, they were good people, but uh, why don't they put Tesla on the coin? He's the one that the history books in grade school. I went to grade school eight years, four years high school. I had some college even, believe it or not. You probably won't believe that. <laughs> but I did, though. I, I took some college courses to meet some girls. But, um, of course, I had uh, my job, too. Uh, I had college courses to teach at CNC. I was a manual machinist for 30 years, for Christ's sake. And then came out with all this new technology in the 80s. You had to learn computers. You had to learn robotics. You, uh, today's world, the robots do everything. They don't take smoke breaks. They don't go out for a cup of coffee. They don't uh, go home and rest over the weekend. They work all around the weekend. Don't go in the machine. The machine is like I did. There's too much to learn, people. You'll never be happy being the machinist. They, uh, if you make the slightest little mistake, you can ruin a million, a million dollar machine that cost their company millions of dollars to make. Don't go in the machine, please. My <laughs> camcorder is still working. It's got the record line. Maybe this video will go through. Maybe I conquered something today. I sure hope so, because you people can learn a lot from me. I have plenty of time on my hand. I can sit home and watch YouTube all day long. I much rather watch my smart TV than the, the, the BS they got on TV nowadays. I think my generation and much better comedies than your, your generation does. But no, each is all, that's what you got. You gotta live with it. But um, watch Dr. Greer and the belief in aliens. And believe you me, people, <clears throat> do you wanna live like we did four or five, five hundred years ago with no electricity? Face it, you wouldn't last a day with no electricity. You'd be as scrubbing with, so disgusted with life like me, you would not wanna live any time at all here. We like electricity. We need advanced technology from them aliens. Let them give it to us. Show the, those aliens you can get along with those Russians, with those Chinese people, with the young uh, North Korea who's threatening to, to bomb the fuck out of us. Show you want to be friends with them. So the aliens will help us. They will not let us leave the solar system. Until we do, they don't even want you going back to the moon. They have the power to do whatever they want. They are thousands of millions of times advanced technology ahead of us. But they love us. Please get along with your neighbor in this world before you die and do what you can for world peace and show these aliens that we are a peaceful people. We can learn to love each other and accept all the advanced technologies to make this planet, Earth, a living paradise like God meant for us to live until Eve ate that apple. I know I'm probably too far ahead of you people today. <clears throat> God gave me to get to sing. I enjoy singing to you people. I, my goal in my life is to make the world a happier place for the good for everybody. Not just people who love rap or popular music. Good for everybody. I wish to make people happy in this world today. I wish that you people would learn to get along with other countries for everybody's sake. Show the aliens we can be a peaceful uh, earth to join them. They will benefit you a million times, believe you me. Gamble. Isn't that worth a little gamble? 
Um, I just like those. I wish our history books and the government would try to honor the poor guy, Nikola Tesla. He died in 1943, a few years, months before I was born and put on this planet. I had to live since 1945 as a child, the whole life being threatened and to come to an end in World War III when they set off those H-bombs and destroyed this earth by fire. Stop that, people. We don't have to live like that. You don't have to live in fear. Learn to love your neighbors. Learn to get along with them. Show these aliens that we can be a peaceful planet and join their civilization out there in outer space. And they will bless you many times over, people. I believe that. Sure, a lot of the science officers sightings are fake. People can get out of the air and talk about it to make a couple bucks on a video on YouTube. But let's face it, there's too many of them. There's millions of them. There are some that are actually, the, it's worth believing a little bit. I myself, <laughs> I never seen an alien. I would love to see a flying saucer land in my front yard and alien step out and greet them to, as long as they didn't kill me with their radiation and make me sick because I can't get along with their germs. I can't get along with today's germs. I got pneumonia. I've been in the hospital seven times already in my life. But uh, uh, there must be some fact to it, people. Don't think I'm just a, a dreamer. I'm crazy. I have a high IQ. My wife is much smarter than me, though, in computers. Your, your son is a geek. He knows how to fix these things. And he argued what the high school. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way today's world. We're all built a little bit different. But thank you again for watching. And I hope to God this video goes true for you. And I'm going to hang up now before it decides it can't stand listening to me anymore. My camcorder, my seven expensive sunny camcorder, my expensive uh, computer screen, my expensive uh, infinity service to deliver videos to you costing $75, $80 a month. And they used to be real good. Now they're slowing down again. It only takes three, four times as long to upload a video to you. I don't know what's wrong. I wish they fix it. A few weeks ago, I was uploading videos to you, music, three, four minutes, five minutes. It only takes five minutes. Now it takes 50 minutes. What's wrong? I don't know. I'm not a, a computer technology expert. My God gave me the gift of seeing. And I hope he gave me the gift to tell you to wake up now before it's too late. Goodbye. I'm going to hang up now before this computer decides to shut me down again. Have a good time, people. Bye now.